I don't know if it just took people this long to kind of talk about and figure out the metagame, but holy crap, this was the run back weekend of things for regionals that I didn't think I would see. Like the 30% of you guys have not smashed the living crap out of that subscribe button, smash it so we can get, yes, ladies and gentlemen, to 105,000. Wow! Regional weekend here, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't, uh, didn't expect to see all of this uh, fun, fancy run around. Yes, we're going to have a Despia list here from my friend that rode with me who got 11th place at the event here. Uh, and I just I want to talk about some of this stuff because out of the Columbus Regional, out of 500 duelists entering into the fray here, there was Abyss Actors finishing 8-1 and one from what I was told. I watched a Crusadia Adventure Guard Dragon player climb up into the ranks of eight and one and i have that list we'll talk about that later on in the week here but what's what's going on did it did it take us this long to kind of figure out how to beat despia at least on a regional level because if rogue it, 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 like what two to three weeks after all of this time has taken a step forward here and is showing people oh maybe now we can kind of start to step things up here and change things. That's kind of what we're starting to see here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very intrigued with that, honestly. You know, it goes from the past to right around the corner here. I think agents will get the chance to step up here, kind of shake things up a little bit here. But where in the world did Abyss Actors come from? <laughs> you want to you want to explain that to me? Uh, I'm even like seeing Drytron running it back. I believe that, who was it, one of the regionals today or this weekend was won by Drytron. I believe it was the, the California regional that was this weekend. Don't quote me on that because uh, I know I just got home. I just started opening up DMs, taking a look from things here. But that's a lot of rogue, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I really don't know what else to say. I think... I got a clap for, oh, and then, what was it, Triff ran at home with Pendulum Magicians going, what was it, 10-0 at an event? Yeah, I I think the formula is starting to be discovered now, and I'm not saying that, I, I think everybody that played this weekend kind of, kind of said the same thing to me, you know, Despia, it's a very powerful deck, and it, it feels like a monster all right um but it feels weaker at certain points and i don't necessarily feel that that's true but like the deck has consistency on its side and <clears throat> prank kids uh would also like to agree with that you got to remember consistency gives consistent rewards that's just how the game of Yu-Gi-Oh currently works here but wow crusadia <sighs> You know, I, I played the Brick Turbo this weekend, and you'll kind of get to see those results uh, later on here when we upload Meme Dream Machine 5. But ladies and gentlemen, what rogue have you seen perform and do well? Because everything that I have told me so far about this format was... You know, Prank Kids was like one of the, the top contenders that could do things. You would see little bits of stirs from like Earth Machine, you know, maybe the occasional Dragon Link here, but I don't know. I'm I'm literally dumbfounded by this. And I, I don't want to like say that I think that the Columbus Regional is a fluke because there's still 500 duelists in attendance for an event on that scale here. But once again, when you were seeing all sorts of these little things, you know, creep through the cracks here, Michigan had an Emancipators in top 16. All right, they had Madolche bubbling at ninth place, which, once again, solidifies the fact that Rogue is getting a chance to do things. Especially, you know, if you have Branded at the top here, and you're, all of these decks are looking at Branded going, oh, you know, like, I can kind of power creep push this out here. I think that that's a good thing, because that means that players now have an accurate place that they want to side for, and if you can lock down and side for the appropriate matchups, I mean, bring in those D-Berries, all that hate, and if you're going to see that all day, well, you'd be fine. Or you can be like my friend who played Despia and run into four Flunder players. 
all right, and then just win them all because Necroworld Banshee is just that good. All right, well, we're going to pass it on over so you guys can get a chance to look at another Despy list. We actually played each other Saturday at Locals, and I just want to say that the Despy and Mirror is a ride, all right? All right, this is our 11th place uh, out of, what, 490 players? It's over 500. Oh, yeah, was it? Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is basically goodstuff.deck. So we have two Lubers. What it's like to go 7 1 and then lose the last round and cry. <laughs> Your whole day is ruined. So, two Lubers, two tragedies. Um, yeah, basic stuff. I know some people try to get cute with only one of these, but stop that. Uh, one ad lithium. I guess you can get cute and try to play two of these. You saw the one listed in that, right? Mm -hmm. By the way, what were your matchups? I know there are four flunderies. Four flunder, two striker, two mirrors, and then a sword soul. Pretty meta day. Uh, two albaz. Imagine cutting this to one. Right? Glued my hand. It, trust me on that. Three water enchantress. One Gryffindor. Uh, triple Valor. Double Valor. How'd you like the double Valor today? Yes, <laughs> Darn. How was this? Never used it. <laughs> How was this? Never used it. So these were all bad cards. They were cross out targets, basically. That's fair. Uh, how'd you like three of these? <clears throat> Let's let me play. <laughs> let you unbreak, right? Yeah. Triple. Dig for that. Search for this good card when you don't get your starter, right? Yep. Uh, we have triple branded opening because this card is nuts. Do you ever want to play three of this? Kind of. Yeah, Occasionally you... it comes out. But I feel like if you resolve two of them, you should be winning. Yeah, literally. Especially like if you're stepping through like the second Chimera. Uh, triple right, one faithful. Uh, one Draco back. Alright, so... You told me today that this card was good. Tell, tell me your scenarios for this thing. Uh, multiple times they have hand trapped, and then we just rip cards out of their hand, and then they can't play. So you never did the draw too. Never did the draw too. I always rip cards out of their hand. Really? Yeah. We rip bells, veilers, imperms. We rip starters. Huh. It was just really good all day. Did you want to play the third of this, or you think two was fine? I think two was fine. Okay. It was like your little MVP tech choice. Yeah. Uh, how'd you like three of those? You need to see it to play. Well, I mean, I don't know. You have to ensure Branded Fusion goes through. Like, I know you're playing 46, 47? 46. But, and then you want to go back to playing comedy, right? So 47? Maybe. I don't know. One called by the grave. One foolish. How'd you like this? It's either tragedy or enchantress. So. That's fair. It gets you to both engines. And then triple imperm here. Do you like three of these? It's okay. Alright, anything you cut or change in the main? Might change the hand trap lineup and go down on them a little to play the comedy and just have less cards in deck. Alright. So that bricked on only two times I lost. Uh, we have double loop belly on. This is standard. I mean, this never changes. Two mere friends. Uh, so tell me, why are we playing Triple Albion? We have room, <laughs> and uh, I kept going through both of them and needing the third, because I'd eventually try to summon one to push another fusion to go for game, and that came up quite a few times. Huh. Uh, one Court Artist, which is fine. I mean, you could cut one for like the, the Bruskinian, but that's fine. One of this stupid good fusion card. One Titanic lad. Um, did this come up at all? Nope. That's fair. One Masquerade. This card's nuts. Yep. Uh, double Guardian Chimera. This is some pretty standard stuff. Uh, and then Wink Spider Vertanaconda. <laughs> I don't think the extra deck ever really changes much in, in these builds. Uh, and then the side deck is pretty much uh, a <laughs> Bagoda side. <laughs> uh, triple Token Collector. Easy stuff. Uh, Necro Banshee and Zombie World for maximum LOL at the opponent. Uh, Wucha. No fun allowed in the mirror. Uh, we have Triple Twin Twisties, one Red Rebootskies, and Triple There Can Only Be No Fun for the opponent. 
Any real other fun comments for this? This deck seems... I don't know. <laughs> this deck seems... I don't know. I, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know. From what that's, I played of it and what you played of it, the mirror. So I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. That's fair. All right, guys. Remember to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys smash smashing crap out of that subscribe button, and uh, I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.